Hello, everyone. Yeah, today we will uh, see something about a uh, new topic that is about, uh, you know, SAP Global Certification Badges. You know, as you all know that uh, the concept of the badge concept has been introduced by SAP. I remember in 2017 onwards. Prior to that, there was no concept of, uh, uh, you know, badges. Uh, you know, when you complete uh, your any of your SAP certifications. But, you know, we used to have some kind of PDF file that used to be, uh, you know, they used to send a kind of letter hard copy and we used to take it and there was also uh, before 2017 we used to have a consultancy registry okay so when you go there to the site called consultancy registry uh, you can find uh, you know the list of people who are holding a number of sap certifications you know with a validity date and exam and your past results and etc and then along with that we also we used to have a sap credential manager that is another site that where you can download your soft copy of your sap certification that you completed successfully and then uh, later uh, or you can also update your personal information you can publish it and you can also uh, specify what information that you wanted to uh, you know publicly post it uh, you go to the SAP credentials manager that is another site we used to have then uh, when SAP has uh, introduced the concept of uh, SAP global certification badges then what happened no longer the consultancy registry works because that is replaced with the you know, you can see there is something called youaclimb.com, right? And uh, and you no longer have the access to the SAP Credentials Manager and uh, it no longer works. You know, now the question is, I have written a one question actually. There is something called, can I claim a badge for a certification that I passed in 2016? So the answer is no. So anyone who has done your certifications, you know, in success factors, HR or SAP HCM or SD finance, any corresponding solutions in SAP you do. And uh, you can no longer issue any certification badge from the you are client. It's not possible. The only drawback is all the you know there was a statement from sap that uh, they are going to push all the data records all the employees have done their certifications right they wanted to move all the records to the you know what do you call this uh, you are climb but it's not happened because all the people have done the certification that where sap used to maintain a consultancy registry and then you also used to have, uh, you know, what do you call, uh, you know, uh, credentials manager. So that no longer works now. And um, there is only possibility that the record of a proof that you can have is a hard copy of your certification. But if you see that we will start issuing the badges to those who get certified from January 2017 only for the selected solutions like SAP Ariba, Hybris, and uh, Success Factor Solutions. You know, initially, SAP has introduced almost uh, uh, 80 plus badges. You know, in 2017, when the concept, ba concept of uh, the badge was introduced, before 2017, there was no concept of a badge. There is nothing like that. As I told you just now, you have consultancy registry, credentials manager, and etc. But that data is no longer exist actually. But we don't know what happened. But now anyone, even if you if you are from a success factors, if you have done your success factor certification, even in 2015, 16, or 14, you can't issue it any badge because it's not possible. It it won't support. 
but you will be able to issue a certification badge if you have done your certifications from January 2017 onwards. So very clearly I have mentioned here on my website. But initially when they have done, as I told you just now, there are 80 plus certification badges were introduced. But now, if you go and look at that, the site name, you can see youacclaim.com organizations forward slash SAP forward slash badges. You need to be very clear, SAP forward slash badges. So currently there are almost 552 badges are available. That means 552 examinations are, are available from SAP and any of these corresponding exams that you are going to complete successfully and issue and then uh, a badge is being issued to you and then you will be able to uh, showcase or you can post or you can share on your social platforms or you can update on your resume and you can you know you can download or you can create do whatever you want but depending upon the kind of certification that you are going to do there is also a validity period but okay every exams uh, behavior is different from the other other exams so i'm not going to talk about it so now here we have sap certification uh, you know uh, badges and i have written a blog even on my website as well i think it's almost long back in 2018 we could see it was actually posted in 2018 a detailed explanation but now the reason why i'm come here to you know to explain about this uh, you know i'm sure that a lot of people are not aware so the first of all uh, if you are first time uh, trying to uh, you know do your certification and now from sap you know what you have to do first of all try to create uh, your account so when you click on your create account so mention your first name last name email the corresponding country and you want to receive any kind of news related and accept terms and conditions if once it is done so you'll be getting a notification to your email to for your confirmation but now i'm not going to create it now because my account is already existing so please go and click on here the bookmark the site name you and then click on here sign in now you please enter your login credentials your your email which is registered and then password so please go and click on sign in so as soon as you just try to log into this particular you are climb and you will be you'll be able to see the list of badges that are being issued to you so you can see sap sc sap education so these are being issued by sap education you can see that it was badge was issued to abraham on 19th january 2020 so now you can see all the related uh, you know you can see if, if in case that if you want to share but before i i explain about this let me come to profile you know there is something called a profile option click on it so you can also update uh, what information that uh, you know uh, anybody who is going to visit your profile and you are climb you know you, you want to tell something about you you can you can uh, give your brief description your social platform you want to allow the people to share your profile or uh, do you want to get notified and etc and there are three badges are there on behalf of his name uh, this man so now there is a settings area come to the setting area so you can see there is an email that is being registered with my account but actually I want to tell you sometimes there are some people what they do right they register with the different email and then uh, they want to merge that email with your permanent email that means the permanent email also can be notified about uh, the badges every time that you write your certifications and then uh, there is an email notification if you want to do that so you can also import a badges an email address from another account that you created so that means you want to first create another account and merge that one enter that uh, another account of email and password and then uh, automatically what happened the email is going to be merged try it out it's very interesting feature and you can use it because i've tested it with another account so it is really working well so if in case if you want to do that next one is uh, applications so here you can see the social network so when you create your account if in case that if you want to link your social platform accounts you know like your linkedin is connected and you can see my twitter account is also connected my facebook is also 
connected so if you want to remove it you can go and do that but i have connected with everything since i've done it that is why when i click on here my profile you are able to see the other information as well so go and click on your organization so that is these examinations are being issued by the sap education so do you want to get notified and you can select your buttons here the privacy like you know like allow my profile publicly and i want to, you know there are a lot of options you can read it and there is also the secured feature you have to protect your you know account uh, you know from your you have something called two factor authentication right you can also specify it and configure it these are all basic features you can do that and then profile please update your profile uh, that will be publicly shared your profile picture your first name middle name last name uh, information about your current position your corresponding website url the you climb your claim site the date of birth country and etc and share your profile okay so now uh, go and click on here view profile now you have your examination right there is a, a onboarding 2.0 examination so now you want to verify it so go and click on here verify so when you click on a verify the system has to show all the checkbox that issued on 2019 by sap education you are climb to anipi abraham 13th of november and it is verified so it is a valid one it is absolutely a valid one so go and click on here dashboard go and, go and open now that examination so now you have option called a share button right so when you click on a share button you have so many options like it. do you want to add to your profile so please go and click on it you want to share it to your linkedin or facebook or you want to get notified to your email so enter your emails with separated by the commas and send it and you want to share your link also somewhere sometimes in your website uh, you want to post somewhere at the bottom here some kind of logo kind of thing so you can take this url and paste it there and the system will uh, you know allow you now some people are still having a lot of doubts that where i should download uh, you know my uh, you know certification a soft copy from you a claim so you have that download button right can you all see it so when you click on it you have the preview at the bottom and look at that the size of the uh, you know uh, what do you call uh, you can you have the maximum like this you can expand and you can do it or if you, if you required you can do it and download an image but above all you can see there is a, a print button so where it allows you to download your soft copy of this examination to your personal computer so go and click on here now what happened the system is going to generate your template and then you'll be able to see in a pdf format so now you can see that uh, your, your, your badge is downloaded or your hard copy uh, sorry soft copy is also downloaded go and open it and then uh, you can see the uh, exam how it looks like you know sap global certification and to whom it is being issued and examination name and from sap education and the date and then you can also see the url at the bottom of this about this particular record of the examination you can also click on it so you can also whenever you want to share it with your uh, uh, you know any company that they are looking for to submit your proof and you can take this one and uh, send your this uh, copy attached to your email or otherwise send uh, the link of this uh, your claim account or otherwise you can directly send uh, you know click on a dashboard sorry uh, when you click on not this one click on a view profile and you can see there is a button here share my profile and the link is copied and send it to your email and you can do it so i hope it is clear to everyone about how the sap uh, sorry uh, you are claim account how you need to use it how the badges has to be you know how the account has to be created how the badges can be issued and uh, you know and again even i told you about uh, what we used to have uh, before uh, this badges concept like we used to have a consultants registry and then uh, sap credentials manager but that no longer exists in the system it is no more now instead of that sap introduced uh, the badges concept from 2017 january so anyone who has done the certification from 17th of january 
2017 then the badges can be issued but if any anyone who has done the certification successfully before 2017 so no badge can be issued okay thank you so much i hope uh, you all got some clarity about uh, you know sap global certification badges then how you need to go and uh, get that thank you so much so all again next uh, with the uh, next time with the next topic thank you so much bye everyone